Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to bring this video where I'm going to be going over how to deploy a React application in a very simple way um, to GitHub pages. So I've I realized that I've never made a video on this specifically, like I've, I've made videos on deploying in the past, but never about just React and, and how to deploy directly just a React application in a really quick and easy way. So for that reason, I decided to make this video. So the project I'm going to be deploying is this one over here, which is actually um, uh, like the, uh, co the code for a tutorial that I recently made, which you can check out if you click on the card um, on the top over here. Um, and I'm, right now it's running on localhost. However, uh, from this GitHub repository over here, which I already created 12 days ago, um, I want to be able to deploy directly into um, a website, like a public website where anyone can access the, the project, right? Now, before we get into the video, if you could leave a like and subscribe, I would massively appreciate it. It will help push my videos to more people and it will just help support the channel. So if you could do that, I'll be really happy. And now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is the code for the for the project I'm going to be deploying. Um, it's nothing huge. Um, it's just the, the code that I wrote for the tutorial, you'll probably not need to make any changes to your actual code, all the changes we're going to make are going to be on the package.json file over here of your project. Now, the first thing we have to do is to deploy um, our react application to github. Now I already did this, but I'm aware that um, maybe someone watching this might have not like, never in the past deployed to github. So I'll go over really quick how to do that. And if you know how to deploy a normal uh, application to to github, just put it on a repository, you can skip using the stories in the timeline on the video. So in order to deploy this to um, to github and push this directory, what we have to do is we have to first create a directory by going to your account over here, going to repositories and clicking on new, then you put the name of your repository. Um, this will also be the name of your react website. So like when you deploy it, this will be in the URL. So I would make sure to put something cool like my project or something that is more related to your project. And then you just click create a repository. Um, I'm going to click for now, but mine was already created. Um, and what you need to do is you need to come to where your your project is. And for now, just open up your terminal, then go to one of your terminals, right? And just write git init. Um, I already did that. So I'm not going to press enter, but put git init, and then just copy and paste all of this over here, like directly copy and paste all of this. And just put git add before you paste it like this, git add dot at the end. And then just press enter and paste everything directly. Um, I just did this to show you guys can see but um, this is basically what you would usually do. So now um, that you have deployed it into your repository, which in my case, I'm not going to deploy to this one, I'm going to deploy it to the one that I already have, which is um, this one over here the chart JS one. Um, after you've done that, we're going to start uh, setting up the stuff related to GitHub pages. Now, GitHub pages is actually pretty simple, they have a, a dependency that you need to install in your project, so that it facilitates everything for you. So I'm using yarn in this react project, but if you're using npm, you can install by using npm install um, the GitHub pages um, file and you put a dash dash save dev to make it a dev dependency. Now I'm going to be using yarn. So I'll just say um, yarn add dash capital D to say that it is a dev dependency. And then gh pages to say that we're trying to install the GitHub pages um, library, then we're going to press enter, and it will start installing everything, which should be pretty quick because it is a small package. And after it's done, we can start making the changes to our package.json. Um, you'll encounter a lot of errors if you don't make this correctly. So make sure you, you follow all of this um, exactly how I'm doing it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add a home page, um, uh, like key to this JSON on the package.json. So the home page basically will be the URL to where your website will be um, uh, like displayed, right? 
And the way you structure this URL is the following. You say HTTP, then you put the two slashes and the colon, then you put your username for your GitHub account. In my case, it is Machado P1407, because that's my profile, my account name in GitHub. Then you say dot GitHub dot IO. And finally, you just put the name of your um, repository over here. So my repository is chart.js react tutorial. So this is what I'm going to be using for um, the name of my website, right? So I'll just put it over here. Um, I accidentally pressed enter, but I'll just put it over here. And this should be fine because our website will be accessible on this URL. Now, what we have to do is the following. We have to add two scripts to our um, our scripts tag over here. So the the scripts we're going to add, we're, we're just going to put them like right below the start. And both of them, you don't need to worry that much about them. But they are the ones that make the application run um, when you deploy it to GitHub. So the first one is the pre deploy um, script and you do you do need to put it on this order. So pre deploy first, and the pre deploy will basically just have npm run build. Now, it's not necessary that you you have so for example, it's not necessary that you have npm to make this work, uh, I have yarn and you should maintain this as npm run build or else it won't work. Then we're going to have um, the deploy script and the deploy script will be a bit different. Um, we'll just put over here, it, it, it runs the command based on the GitHub pages um, library. So we just say GitHub pages dash D build. And this should make your website build. Now we're going to save this. Um, and it's basically all the changes we have to make um, to this application. Now, um, what we can do is we can come over here, uh, just say git add again to make all the changes, um, commit everything to our, um, I'll just say deployed website. So commit to our, uh, our repository and then push to our repository, because um, this is how we're going to push the changes that we just made. Now that all of the changes are made, what we have to do is we have to run the uh, deploy command, this one over here. And even though you have um, oh, I accidentally ran it, but I'll, let me just close it. And even if you have yarn, you should run the command npm run deploy this way. And when you run this command, um, it'll basically make the deployment to the GitHub pages branch. So even if you're not familiar with GitHub, let me just explain this real quick. We have the main branch on our repository, which will serve as um, where all of your code is. And then there will be the GitHub pages branch, which is where they're going to create a version of your project that can be displayed um, publicly on the website. So when we run npm run deploy, it's basically filling up the that branch with the correct information. And as you can see, it says published. So it means it worked. Um, we can refresh our page and you can see that now there is a GitHub pages uh, branch in our project. We won't click on it. But what we will do is we'll come to the settings tab. And we'll click on the pages um, part over here. And now if you've done this correctly, it should say that the branch for your GitHub page is the GitHub pages branch. And it's on the root, which is the correct one. And it should also say that your website is published on this link over here. So if I click on this, you can see that it will say site not found. And that's completely okay. Um, it takes a little bit for your website to be deployed. So I'll be back in a second when it is actually deployed. Okay, so as you can see, it took less than a minute, but the website now it's public. Anyone can go to this website. Um, if you want to check it out, just put this URL on your on your computer on your browser, um, which means it's working. So that's perfect. Um, I wouldn't try deploying multiple times, like wait for it to at least wait a bit um, to see if the website is working. Because if you keep running the deploy um, consistently, it will keep canceling the previous deploy. So restart the process. A lot of people will deal with that issue. And um, I wouldn't recommend you just running the deploy command every single time. So this is basically it. It's really quick, really easy. This is how you can actually deploy uh, your react website into GitHub pages. Now, if you liked the video, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next. Subscribe because I'm posting once or twice a week. I massively appreciate it if you guys could support the channel. Give me video ideas. I have a Discord if you want to check it out. We have an amazing community where we help each other. So the link for that will be in the description. And yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I see you guys next time.